Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here today with a 1970 Stratomatic game classic matchup. The 1970 New York Yankees, the Bronx Bombers going up against the Boston Red Sox in Fenway Park. So I will be controlling the Yankees, even though I hate the Yankees, I'm still going to take them. Um, and the uh, pitchers on the mound today for the uh, Yankees will be Stan Bonson. And uh, for the Boston Red Sox, it's going to be Bobby Bolin. Two evenly, pretty much evenly matched starting pitchers, I think. Um, in... 1970. I don't know the exact numbers, but um, the Yankees won like 93 games. I think they won 93 games. And the Boston Red Sox won, I believe, something on the order of 86 or 87 games. So it's going to be an evenly matched game. You can expect a good one. Um, the uh, date that we're going to play this on is June 8th. I don't really know if they ever really did play on June 8th of 1970. But it is, uh, it's is—it's going to be a nice classic matchup, especially for you guys out there that uh, were around in the 70s and were old enough to remember the 70s. I mean, this is 1970. So actually, I was... This was a little before my time. I mean, I was I was around, but I was only four years old. So, without any further delay, we're going to get on with the game. And you can see you got Horace Clark up there. And by the way, this will be without the DH because this was 1970 and it was three years before the DH started. And so there's Bobby Bolin out on the mound for Boston, and Horace Clark is going to be the leadoff hitter for the Yankees. And it looks like he's going to ground out to Petroselli for the first out of the game. And up steps Thurman Munson. Thurman Munson, who tragically died in a plane, airplane accident in 1979. And then last with two outs, the last hitter, well, maybe not the last hitter, but the third hitter is going to be Roy White of the Yankees. And he looks like he's going to fly out to center field. And he does. And that's going to be, no, he doesn't. What happened there? I guess that was uh, too shallow for Smith to get to. So, Bobby Mercer's up with a man at first and two down. And he gets on. Huh. Well. That uh, brings up Danny Cater. Danny Cater. Who apparently used to be Red Sox because he's got a Red Sox hat on in his photo. And he is going deep to the wall. That might get a run in. I'm going to say send the runner, 114, yeah. Um, I'm going to even send the trailing runner. I mean, what the heck? Playing with the, yeah, nice. So two runs come in on that, and Cater goes to third base, and that brings up Kurt Bleffery. And it looks like Kurt Bleffery, uh, you know, I want to say he's going to, he's going to fly out, but... Uh, it, no, he didn't. Smith can't get to that either. I don't know. The Red Sox may have to replace their center fielder. But um, anyway, you got Gene Michael. The stick is up with Bleffery up at second base. Already three runs in for the Yankees. And again, I'm not even going to care to speculate whether Smith is going to get this ball. And he did. So... Mike Andrews will be leading off for the Red Sox against Stan Bonson. But the, the uh, Yankees scored a big three spot there in the first inning, and uh, Reggie Smith is up. Is, that, is he the center fielder? The, yeah. Might want to pinch hit for him and get him out of my game. 
And that brings up the Yaz, Yastremski, with two down. And that's going to be a line uh, out to Clark. And the Yankees are back up here in the top of the second with Jerry Kennedy up against Bobby Bolin. And he is going to, it looks like, ground out to Yaz for the first out. Stan Bonson up. Stan Bonson hitting it to Smith. And it, this is way back. This is back by the wall. Bonson got a hold of that. My gosh, Bonson has a double. And Horace Clark is up. One out, minutes and second, and that's Bonson, and that's going to be a hit, and they're going to hold him. We're going to hold him. It's a running one to ten. I don't want to risk that with only one out in the inning and Thurman Munson up. Thurman Munson with a good hitter, especially for a catcher. But that's going to be two down, and up steps Roy Wheat. Storied history between these two teams. Going all the way back to the trade of Babe Ruth from the Red Sox to the Yankees. So the uh, Yankees come away with nothing. Our Yankees come away with nothing in the second inning. And go to the bottom of the second. And Tony kicked the arrow up. And Tony Canigliero is going to fly out to Bluffery, it looks like. One down, and Rico Petroselli. Rico Petroselli gets a base hit in the hole between second and first. George Scott is up with a man at first and only one out. And a chance to um, start a little bit of a rally here. George Scott. Looks like that's going to be a fly out to White, though. With two down, here's Canigliero, Billy Canigliero. And he is going to be out. So the Bobos get nothing in the second. We go to the top of the third. Three nothing Yankees. Bobby Mercer at the plate. Bobby Bolin is still out there for the Red Sox. And he's going to strike out. That brings up Danny Cater. Danny Cater hitting the ball back to Canigliero, and that's going to be an out. Two down, and Bluffery is out for the Yankees. One for one on the day with a double, and I don't even want to speculate. This is He dives, and he got it. So that wasn't out. We go to the bottom of the third with the Red Sox up, trying to get, trying to break through on Bonson, but it's been pretty tough for him. It's been upsetting less so far. That looks like it'll be a ground out to the stick, Gene Michael. No, it's out. And what happened there? An error. Michael makes an error. So uh, Moses is at first base. Bolin is up. Corners are in, in for Boston. And, of course, Bolin tries to bun. And he gets on. A one-base error by Bonson. So, with Bolin and Moses aboard, you got Mike Andrews up. The Red Sox, you have to feel they've got to break through and get something right here. I mean, if they don't get something here, it's going to be... Well, that might be a home run by Mike Andrews right now, let me just tell you. And a tie game. And it is. So the Red Sox tie the game. Mike Andrews hits a three-run home run. A key error by Bonson, allowing one of those three runs to come across. We have ourselves a ball game with a line out to Clark by Reggie Smith. That brings up Yaz with one down. Three runs already in. And he's going to hit it. He looks like he's going to go shopping at the gap. And yes, it is. It is in the gap. And so, Yastrzemski's up at second with one down and Canigliero up. These Red Sox, pesky Red Sox. And if you know, 
by history with doing these um, one-off games, I never am the winning manager. Almost never. I mean, I think it happened once. So a run does come across. Another run comes across for Boston, and now they have a 4-3 to three lead with Rico Petroselli. And Lee, Rico Petroselli is going to get a base hit. So I may mean, have to go out and get Bonson pretty soon. George Scott is up at the plate, and he strikes out. So it's 4-3. We go to the top of the fourth inning. It looks like maybe the Red Sox uh, faith in Bolin was rewarded by the fact that they were able to not only come back, but go ahead. One down and Jerry Kennedy, is, or Jerry Kenny, sorry, not Jerry Kenny. Jerry Kenny is going to line out to Andrews at second base. And Stan Bonson Buner. Stan Bonson. Strikes out. If I was going to replace him, then probably wouldn't have been the time anyway. With two down and nobody on. And, he's, and we're really still in this ball game. The Yankees are still in the game. Billy Canigliaro up against Bonson. But that's going to be another base hit to left field. White will get it in. And uh, you got Canigliaro at first with Moses up. Jerry Moses. He was on last time, as you recall. And there's an out. And uh, But it's a fielder's choice. Moving Canigliaro to second. Bolin is up at the plate. Of course, we're going to stick with him because he's settled down since that bad first inning that he had. And it wasn't really even totally all his fault as there was an error in the first inning. And Mike Andrews is up, the man who hit a three-run homer for Boston today. And he's going to walk. So there's runners at the corners, two down. Regis is up. Bond needs to get him, and he doesn't. It's a, it's a base hit to left field. White gets it in, and there's two runners on, two out, and a run, run in front of the Yankees. And that's going to be a base hit. Bleffery is going to – I'm going to try to stop him from scoring or from advancing the base runners. Let the run score. It's 6-3. Six, 6-3, three. Six, three, and there is a deep – ball and I was just thinking maybe I should bring in relief and I'm probably a little or one batter too late. Well, oh no, it's a foul ball. ball. Okay. All right. So the stick makes the play. But Boston does have a 6-3 lead. So uh, you can bet you're not going to see Bonson anymore. Horace Clark is up for the Yankees. And out of the fifth. Down by three runs. And Thurman Munson up. And Clark got aboard. I don't know how that happened. Thurman Munson up. I'm going to send the runner 1 to 15. We need to get some runs. No. He was gunned out at third. So Munson went to second on the throw to third. And uh, yeah, that was a, probably a mistake. And he got Roy White up. And Roy White is out, but he moves Munson over to third. Munson's 90 feet away with Mercer up and two down. And that's going to be a ground out. And I, that was probably a bad decision by myself. And we are going to replace Bonson right now. And I'm going to replace him with, uh, let's see. What do we want to replace him with? I'm going to say with, uh, well, what is this guy's name? Wazlewski. We're going to replace him with Wazlewski, at least for the moment. Gary Wazlewski coming in to pitch for the Yankees here in the bottom of the fifth. Petroselli up. He's facing Petroselli, who hits the ball to center field. Will Mercer play the play one? No, it falls in front of Mercer. Petroselli is aboard with George Scott up. George Scott, a dangerous hitter, has a power. Hitter. And he's going to hit it right up the middle, right where it came back from. The runners are at first and second for the Red Sox with no outs and Canigliaro up. Billy Canigliaro. And he is out. And uh, that brings up Jerry Moses with one down, runners at first and second for Boston. 
And that is another hit right up the middle. This Yankee pitching is just falling apart. With Bobby Bolin, let's see if they pinch hit. No! They let Bobby Bolin hit. And that is a strikeout. They struck him out. They let him back. But, I mean, why not? He's got a three-run lead, and he has, he's has he been shut down since the first inning. He's been a shut-down pitcher since the first. Andrews, who had a summer today. And that is a walk. He walks Andrews, and another run comes in. And now the Boston Red Sox have a 7-3 lead. And it looks like my bad luck is going to continue Another run comes in on a pass ball, so Reggie Smith is up. Reggie Smith still up, and he lines it right up the middle. So now it's just really a free-for-all. There's no way the Yankees are coming back after this. It's 10-3 with Yaz up the plate. And I did what I could. I mean, Bonson, Bonson, Buerner, Burner, Bonson, Burner, he just did not do the job. And so Danny Cater is up for the Yankees here in the top of the sixth, down 10-3. The Yankees need seven runs. So Bolin is obviously still out there, and rightly so. That is a shallow fly, but it's an out. Bluffery is up. And Bluffery is on. He gets on base. He works a walk. Gene Michael is up. And he's on base, so Jerry Kenny is up with two runners on. We can do a little damage here. would be nice. We can start dipping away. That's going to be down the third base line at Scott, and he makes the play. But runners, uh, the runner on second moves over to third on the fielder's choice. There are two runners um, on with two out. We need runs, so I'm going to take Wazlewski out. We're going to pinch hit for Wazlewski right here. And we're going to pinch hit with, um, we're gonna, against Bolin, who's a righty. So, I'm going to say with Little. We're going to pinch hit with Little. Because we got to have a run. Or two. Or more. And, uh... Yeah, that's, he was out, so we didn't get any runs there, and now I'm going to bring in Kiki. Yeah, we're going to bring in Kiki to pitch. Mike Kiki is on for the Yankees, pitching against Tony Canigliaro to lead off for Boston in the bottom of the sixth with a 10-3 lead. That's going to be an out. Now, I know if you're a Boston, if you're a Boston or Red Sox or a Boston or Yankees fan, you know that these two teams, you never really want to count one or the other out, especially here in Fenway Park, but it's not looking good for the Yankees. George Scott is up. And George Scott hits the ball up the middle, and he's out. So the Yankees come to bat, top of the seventh. We're down to the last three um, innings for the uh, for the Yankees, the last nine outs of the game. And Horace Clark gets a hold of one. Does he, does he get it in? Does it drop? And it does. So Clark is on board with no outs, months and up. Are they going to replace Bowling? You have to ask. No, Bowling pitches to um, to Munson, but he lines out to Petroselli, and so Roy White is up with one down. Clark at first, and he's going to go shopping at the Gap. So that's good news for the Yankees. Runners are at second and third, with only one out, and Bobby Mercer up. And now they do bring in a new pitcher. And the new pitcher is going to be Cal Kuntz. Cal Kuntz will pitch to Mercer. And he walked him. So the bases are full for the Yankees. They've got a chance to break through here. Danny Cater up at the plate. Down by seven. 
And that looks like it's going to be a pop out. Pop out to third base. And that brings up Kurt Bluffery. Everything resting on Kurt Bluffery for getting a base hit here. And he does get a base hit right up the middle. Does it score two? It does. And so now it's 10-5. The Yankees are trying to claw their way back with Gene Michael. The stick is up at the plate against Kuntz. And Kuntz looks like he got the man. So, Cal Kuntz gets him out of the inning. But we did score two runs. It's 10-5. We're down by five, but we only have two more innings to bat in. Billy Canigliaro leading off against Mike Kikik. And he's out. John Mo Jerry Moses is up. And Jerry Moses is going to hit the ball to Mercer for an out. And that brings up John Kennedy. Not Jerry Kenny, but John Kennedy. Not the President of the United States, either. And he flies out to Bluffery. So, with that, we're going to the top of the eighth. We're down to our last six outs. Jerry Kenny is up against Cal Kuntz, who's still out there. Still has a little gas in the tank, you have to uh, imagine. But he lines out to Andrews. One down, and Kikik is up. I'm going to let him hit. I don't know why, but I did. I just hit the button. And he is out. Two down, and Horace Clark, who is three for four on the day. Horace Clark trying to take us, trying to put the Yankees on his back. Not working real well. And that's a ground out, so it probably didn't matter that I had Kikik um, bat anyway. And he's out there for his third inning. work. And that's going to be a shallow fly to center. And he makes the play. Reggie Smith is up. And Reggie Smith is going to ground out. That's two down. And Yaz is up. He's two for four with a double on the day. And he gets a board. So Canigliero is up with Yaz aboard two down. Two down. And that's going to be a that's going to be a big fly, but it should be played by White, and it is. So we're down to our last three outs right here, and we're down by five runs with Thurman Munson facing Cal Coots. and he gets a board. Roy White is up. Of course, we need to string a lot of walks and or hits together. And keep runners from getting out, keep people from getting out. That's going to be a fly out, though, probably to Canigliero. And it is. Mercer is up at the plate. And Mercer's going to pop out to third. And that brings up Danny Cater. Danny Cater looks like he's grounding Petroselli to end the game. And he does. And so let's go get the box score. So there's your box score with the uh, Red Sox beating the Yankees 10-5 in Fenway Park. Stan Bonson with the loss. He went four innings, allowed seven hits and three earned runs. And Bobby Bolin got the win. He went six and a third, allowed eight hits and five earned runs. So not a good performance for him in his 114 pitches, but it was good enough on this day to beat the Yankees, the hated Yankees. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.